What's up, Pokemon Speed? This is the Flaming Speed here, back again with another Pokemon Black and White Wi-Fi battle. And this time I'm actually going to bring you a rotation match. I haven't really seen anyone post uh, rotation matches here in a while, so I figured, you know, I would do that. And, you know, it could be a nice thing to change things up a bit. So, um, this is a rotation match against Furred Fan 450, and I'm actually using a... Uh, uh, Sandstorm team that's uh, pretty much built around Shuckle, and you know, of course, when you have a Shuckle, I figure you know the best thing to couple that with is a Sandstorm team. So I'm leading off with a Tyranitar, and then I'm just gonna rotate into my Shuckle, which now has a lot more special defense thanks to the Sandstorm boost. And uh, he rotates into his uh, what I thought was P. P2, Paragon 2, but it turns out he is a Zoroark in disguise. Goes with the Focus Burst, doesn't do that much, and I get off my Power Trick, which is nice. So, now I'm gonna rotate into my uh, Reuniclus, and uh, he rotates into his Chansey, goes with the T-Bay, which doesn't bother me one bit, because I'm just going to set up my Trick Room, and I bet m most of you guys uh, know right now what kind of team this is. But, uh, yeah, Trick Room with Shuckle <laughs> with Power Trick, that is, this shuckle is beastly, that much I can tell you. So I just go with the safe EQ, because if he rotates into Zoroark or Hihidaruma, I mean Darmanitan, they will, you know, get wrecked by the uh, EQ. So I thought it would be the safest option, and also I did not want to miss my Stone Edge. And, uh, you know, later we you will see some, some of that action as well, but uh, we'll get to that eventually. So, here I rotate into my... Uh, Reuniclus, which gets Parahaxed, as I was going to go with the Focus Blast, because I noticed that the that the Stone Edge would not KO the P P P2, Porygon 2. But, uh, you know, get the Parahax, he rotates into Zoroark, gets off the Dark Pools, will easily KO, and I lose my uh, Reuniclus because of the Parahax, which is really unfortunate. So I go back into my Shuckle, and go with the Stone Edge, and what do you know, it misses. And he's gonna get off a Toxic on my uh, Shuckle, which, you know, really hinders it down, because, you know, the Toxic count does not reset during the uh, rotations. So it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna keep on uh, racking off, and I don't really wanna switch out, because, you know, you don't really do that in rotation matches too much. It's all about rotating, obviously. But uh, he's gonna get off that recover, but I do get off my Trick Room on that turn when he recovers, so it's cool. And here I go into my T-Tar, just gonna go with the safe Stone Edge. It's my strongest move, and he actually rotates into his uh, Darmanitan. Not really sure why, because the Trick Room was up. But anyways, I get that thing out of the way, so that's nice. And he's gonna rotate in... Uh, I mean, he's gonna send out the uh, Dusk Noir next, and I'm gonna rotate into my Dusk Clops. And we both think alike, and we're gonna, you know, just go with the Willow Wisp. But it doesn't bother me too much, because, uh, you know, I don't even have lefties. I have the Evil Light Stone and, you know, the residual damage. And with the Trick Room, I might be able to abuse my Pain Split. But we'll see how it goes. So, anyways, I'm gonna go into my uh, T Tar, set up a sub. And uh, he unfortunately uh, goes into his uh, Zoroark, goes with the Focus Blast, that will easily break my sub. But hopefully I can convi convince him not to rotate and just stay in and keep going with the Focus Blast. So I go back into my uh, Dusk Clops, go with the Night Shade. Hopefully it does enough where he will uh, KO himself with, uh, you know, with the Life Orb Recoil and the uh, Sandstorm the next turn. But uh, it's not gonna happen yet, Sandstorm will not be enough to take him out and uh, Twisted Dimension do return to normal. So I'm pretty sure he's just gonna go with the Dark Pulse. That is exactly what he does, so I just go back into my T-Star. He's gonna kill himself with that said Life Orb, and I'm going to set up a free substitute, so I'm gonna be ready for whatever he decides to send out next, which is really cool. So, he's gonna send out his Chansey, and uh, I'm just gonna rotate into my Dusk Clops and just set up my Trick Room again, which is cool, so I'm getting back my mo momentum, but still, that Porygon 2 is a big problem to my team. I can't, you know, my best option was to hit it with Stone Edge, but so far, I uh, haven't really been able to hit too many. So, uh, he's gonna predict my uh, rotation, I guess, and just go with the, you know, with the Seismic Toss, or I'm not sure if he even has any better options to do. But he's gonna get his wish. I did get a Pain Split off it. 
got me a nice chunk of HP back, and I'm just gonna rotate into my uh, Tyr Tyranitar again with the sub, because I'm pretty sure he can break it with anything, especially since his Dusk, Dusk Noir is burned, so, uh, and uh, his Dusk Noir is burned. P2 can't really do much with his special attacks, and Chansey only has a Seismic Toss to, you know, hurt me with. But uh, anyways, I'm rambling. So, uh, I try to hit my Stone Edge again, but what do you know, it misses, it misses. And he's gonna get off an Ice Beam, I miss my Stone Edge again. Again, so I think I missed like three Stone Edge in a row with this, uh, Shuckle. So, wow, I have no idea. <laughs> You know, they say Focus Blast is a really in, uh, inaccurate move, but, you know, it's still 70, but Stone Edge is 80, but it, everybody knows that Stone Edge misses a lot more than any other move. Stone Edge is known for its missing, and here, it kind of shows, it, it kind of shows, you can't really rely on it. But anyways, I'm rambling. Ah, screw you, Stone Edge, I hate you. Anyways, uh, this is a pretty good chance to get off a Pain Split again, because he's, he's, most of his guys are, you know, at green health. So I'm gonna go with the uh, <laughs> go with the pain split, and what do you know? Stone Edge misses again as I rotate into my shuckle, and I was kind of thinking maybe I could take this P2 out, but you know, Stone Edge misses. So mm. yeah, and I think I only have like one more turn left with my shuckle. Yeah, so I'm gonna save it for that one more Stone Edge, hopefully. So uh, I rotate into my uh, dust clubs again. This. Battle is kind of repeating itself because you know I can't do anything because I can't even hit my stone edges. That's my best option to take down this P2. I he really have to decide whether I say P2 or Porygon 2. Anyways, rambling again. I decided that uh, I really need the, the residual damage. You know, with the sandstorm, you know, even though I don't have the toxic, you know, burn is gonna give him some residual damage, and that's gonna be really nice. Hopefully, I can take him out. And. Uh, Trick room wears off, so he's gonna try to take me out with Ice Beam, but I just barely live live with that uh, so-called smidgen, smidgen of health. That was kind of like three smidgens at least. But anyways, I survive, that's important, I get off that pain split again, uh, I buy myself more turns, and I should be able to set up a uh, Trick Room while living this next hit, and hopefully the Sandstorm and the Burn damage as well. So we'll see. the. Sandstorm hits, and then the burn hits, and I just barely live. That's a smidgen. That's a smidgen. Maybe two, maybe two. NBZ, tell me. Anyways, I'm gonna go into my shuckle for that final shot, because I really want to KO that Porygon too, because it has been so big of a problem. So finally I take him out, but it's a double double knockout, and I send out my Glide score who is running Adamant Nature and quite a lot of uh, HP as well. Kinda to go with uh, Trick Room as well if I really need to. So, I'm gonna rotate into my T-Tar because it has that freeze up. I was kinda scared of what that Espeon would do, but he's just gonna rotate into his, into his Chansey. And Crunch does a nice junk, but uh, I'm not really sure if I can... Uh, I'm not sure if I can take him out in the next shot, but uh, I'm just gonna set up a sub. Because, you know, he broke it and, uh, you know, he still has that Espeon, not really sure what kind of set is he running. Does he have uh, HP fighting or something of that sort. But anyways, I'm kind of thinking he's just gonna Seismic Toss again, so I'm gonna go into my uh, Glide Score, rotate out. Go with the EQ, and it will be enough because I do have Adam and Nature, you know, Max Attack, all that good stuff. So he, go he goes into his uh, Espeon now, and now I can just scout for what he has. And he does have the hidden power fighting, uh, which I haven't really run into too many times. And uh, he does show that he is life orb. But now, since I do have the free sub, I can just get an easy KO on the Espeon. And now all that all that he has left is the uh, burned uh, Dusk Noir. And I'm pretty sure he's just gonna go with the Willow Wisp, trying to cripple my uh, T-Tar. So I go into my. Uh, a glide score to take that because I do have the poison heal going on, and I get off my uh, earthquake. So now I should be now the dust globs should be in a range for my uh, T Tars uh, crunch to be a 100% guarantee KO, and uh, that actually will be the case. So that will turn out to be the match. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this uh, random <laughs> rotation battle, and uh, if you want to see more matches like this, uh, you know come check out my my channel. I'm gonna post a few more battles with this team. This is the uh, 
Like I think I said, this is the first, uh, this is the first real rotation team I'm, uh, I have built, and it has been working out pretty darn well. So uh, I'm gonna post a few more battles on my own channel. So like I said, if you wanna see them, come check out my channel and uh, leave a like rating if you enjoyed this match. And that will be all for today. So stay tuned for more. This is the Flaming Speed signing out. Peace out, Pokemon Pit.